the yeah. church. You spoke something yesterday, you know, arise, yeah. shine. And I want to know, I, I just want you to know that that's, that's what we need to do in this hour. I mean, whether, yeah. because in, in the, the scheme of the Lord, I mean, God is the best director, amen? Yeah. And, yeah. And, and, and in the scheme of His things, there's no Filipino, there's no American, there's no African. It's all right. His body, amen? Yes. And yeah. so we need to begin to rise up to the very stature of Christ. We need to begin to do what He did. We need to begin to walk in our inheritance. We need to know who our Father is. Amen. And if I may add, let me give you a word of prophecy coming from the Lord, from Luke, based from Luke 8, 16 to 18, and Luke 11, 33 to 36. He said, Arise, shine, Filipinos. Arise, shine, people of Arizona. You are a lamp lighted by God and has been put on a stand. You, we always say we are the light of the world. No, you are a lamp lighted by Jesus Christ and has been put on a stand. Mm. And uh, so as you That's have, you will be given more. As you have mm. faith, you will be given more. These are the words of the Lord. See to it then that the light within you is not darkness. Yeah. If your body is full of light, no part of it is dark, it will be completely mm lighted and that's the light coming from the Lord. You know, that's, isn't that the word we were hearing just yeah. even a week ago yeah. Yeah. that uh, Arizona was going to be uh, seen throughout all the earth, yes. that the attention yes. was going to be focused uh, on uh, Arizona within even three months. You didn't really go into exact details of what that's all about, but yeah. you just have to know and trust and believe God. Mm. Yeah. It's interesting to hear when somebody comes from the other side of the earth to hear the Lord speaking the same things. Yeah. It's, it's so beautiful. That's how dynam dynamic and wonderful the Lord is. He's not limited by time, by space. He does everything in His perfect time, in His perfect will. And now, let me add as well, for the people of America, I'm talking to Christian people of America, the Lord says. He reminded me of Jacob's dream at Bethel, found in Genesis um, 20, 28. 10 to 10 to 22 he said your descendants will be like the dust of the earth and you will spread out to the west and to the east to the north and to the south all peoples on earth will be blessed through you and your offspring i am with you and will watch over you wherever you go and i will bring you back to this land i will not leave you until i have done what i have promised you hey listen christians it's the lord who speak this world this word and he also said that uh, surely he is at this place and sometimes just like Jacob Jacob said in verse 16 surely the Lord is in this place and I was not aware of it you may not be aware of it that the Lord is in this place or in your place wherever you are but the Lord gives the confirmation that he is right here he is right here in America he, he is working working in his own miraculous ways again be not limited by who you are and right now pastor the Spirit of the Lord is saying that some of you who are here in the studio and some of you who are just watching right now you want to do something for the ministry of the Lord and you know that you can do that something but you're just afraid or you just don't know where to start or how to start oh going back oh thank you Lord just um, like uh, Zacchaeus climb up that sycamore tree try yes. to seek the face of the Lord and the Lord will say okay I'll be with you I'll be with you I'll be there to support your ministry no matter how small that ministry is Oh, ladies and gentlemen, the Lord, the Lord is able. Our God is able. Yes. Mm, amen. Hallelujah, Thank Lord. you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Jerry, I want to I wanna take you back to a time in uh, November. Yeah. And um, we had the opportunity to meet at um, a uh, pastoral luncheon of uh, you know, many of the pastors in the in Manila area. And uh, you said something that was so key to me that day. I always know when the Lord is getting ready to set somebody up because <laughs> they always say something like, I have no idea why I'm here. <laughs> yeah. And, 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 and tell us what happened to you that day. Okay. <laughs> this, was the whole, this is the whole story. Let me share with you. Not it the wasn't whole story, me. <laughs> yeah. It wa this, Paraphrase. I'll make it short. Yeah. I'll make it short. <laughs> um, it wasn't me who was originally invited uh, to that event, in that event, it was my sister. 
My sister is connected to uh, the press office of the city mayor of Manila. And Pastor Jeff Reynoso, who is a great leader of the church in Manila and in many nations, <laughs> came to the office and invited my sister for a sort of multimedia, upcoming multimedia project in the Philippines. And uh, she said, multimedia project, it's not my fourth, it, it's my sister's uh, um, fourth. So probably, Pastor, you can tap my sister and she can, can help you. That's what she said. Mm -hmm. And then my sister invited me and said, you talk to Pastor Jeff Mignosa. And there came the time that I got into that room, very room. I never knew who, 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 who you were, whom I'm meeting with. And th that, w that time, significantly, was Ramadan. Ramadan is, uh, mm -hmm. and it was declared holiday. It, it's a Muslim, right. um, Muslim um, event. And first time, it was declared holiday. So we had time to proceed to that meeting. I had it hadn't it been a holiday, so we should not have found time to be there. So the Lord brought me to that place, and then you began asking. Uh, um, the the pastor just said, "Introduce yourselves," and I didn't know really what to say. Um, actually, I said, "I don't know who I uh, what I am. I mean, in this place, what function I have to." Did you hear do. what she said? She said, "I I didn't know who I am, or I don't yeah. know who I am." What? So many in the body of Christ today, they, they don't know, they don't know who they are in yeah. Christ. I am not, I don't know exactly of the purpose of the Lord, why I'm here, why I'm here, what is this by the way. And then there, the time came that Apostle Martin gave his message and he began speaking, speaking and I began to, to take down notes. I just took down notes and he was speaking about um, media ministry wants to pursue in Arizona or if possible in the Philippines he was coming up with a with the, his own plans or or propositions and then I just uh, wrote down anything that uh, came into my mind that day and after his message I gave that piece of paper <laughs> scratch paper to Pastor Martin and said probably pastor uh, pastor this could uh, this may be of help to you and what was contained in that that paper was it was a confirmation, yes. It was a confirmation yeah. for Pastor Martin. Yes. He then smiled and laughed, actually. Laughed. I just feel amazed and surprised. Is there anything wrong about what I, what I just did? I just gave a piece of paper. Actually, what was contained in the piece of paper was a concept of a, of a talk show. And the title was? Yes, Heart Talk. Heart Talk. And he laughed and he said. It was a confirmation of what it was a confirmation. But something happened to you that day. We only, we only just have uh, one minute left. But <laughs> something happened to you when, uh, when the Spirit of the Lord touched you that day. And uh, you had had the confession of your mouth. I'm, I'm not a singer yet. You'd produced beautiful Christian music. Yeah. But all of a sudden, the Spirit touched you and touched your husband that day and yeah. began to transform you. And since that time, I don't think you've been the same. Yeah, that's very true. You know, ladies and gentlemen, again, this is a blessing from the Lord. I've always loved to worship the Lord through songs. I am. I've always loved singing for the Lord. You can you can probably um, hear how harsh my voice is. The the, the that time, the type W tape, originally. Um, original the original um, repertoire of type W tape doesn't did not include me as one of the singers. I was one of the composers. Yeah. But in the end, the Lord gave me a, a slot. He gave me two slots to sing two nice songs of my, of my composition. And now the Lord has brought forth the gift of the prophetic in this woman yeah. that she didn't know was there before. And I before. just thank the Lord. Terry, we're out okay. of time. We just yeah. want to thank you so much for being here with us today. And oh, thank you for so speaking cool. these words yeah. to the, so cool. not only the Philippine yeah. community, but the uh, American church as yeah. well. And the Lord just... We just ask the Lord to bless you in everything that's yeah. happening, both Thank while you're in America and as you go back to the Philippines. Yeah. I believe the Lord is going to give you great and awesome yeah. ideas for television programming, and, and especially new songs will come forth birthing. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, just touch her mightily now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you so much.